Picture this. You're standing on a beach, the sun warm on your skin, the breeze gentle and the waves crashing in a familiar soothing rhythm. The sand shifts beneath your feet and for a moment everything feels peaceful and safe, as if the world is in perfect balance. But now, imagine a different kind of wave, a moving wall of ocean, taller than a 30-story building roaring as it arrives. It's a force so immense it seems almost impossible yet it's very real. This is the raw, untamed power of our planet, a force that reminds us we're just passengers on this amazing, sometimes violent rock. Nature's energy is always present, just beneath the surface, waiting to be unleashed. We build cities, engineer skyscrapers, and feel safe behind concrete and steel. Our technology gives us confidence and we often believe we can control our environment. But what happens when nature throws a curveball so extreme it defies our understanding? When the unimaginable becomes reality, our sense of security is shattered in an instant. These are the mega events, disasters that reshape coastlines, erase landmarks, and rewrite history in a matter of minutes. They leave behind a changed world and stories that echo for generations. My career has been about testing the limits of what we think is possible. I've spent years exploring the boundaries of science and nature always searching for answers. We use science to peel back the layers of mystery and understand the world around us. Every discovery brings us closer to unlocking the secrets of our planet's most powerful forces. Few mysteries are as compelling or terrifying as the threat of a mega earthquake triggering a mega tsunami. These rare events are the stuff of legends, but they are grounded in real science. These aren't everyday disasters, they're the titans of geological chaos. Their scale is almost beyond comprehension, and their impact can be felt across continents. Understanding them isn't about fear, it's about curiosity, respect, and preparing for the worst-case scenario. By studying these phenomena, we can learn how to protect ourselves and our communities. It's the ultimate engineering problem, presented by Mother Nature herself. The challenge is daunting, but it's also an opportunity to push the boundaries of human ingenuity. So, let's dive in. We'll explore what a 100-meter wave really is, what could create such a monster, and what would happen if one struck. The science behind these waves is as fascinating as it is frightening. We'll look at clues from past events and meet the scientists working to give us a fighting chance. Their research is vital for our survival and understanding. This is a story about immense power, incredible destruction, and the enduring spirit of human ingenuity. It's about how we rise to meet the greatest challenges nature can throw at us. When faced with a myth of this magnitude, what do we do? We test it, we question, we experiment, and we learn. Let's get started. The science behind these colossal events awaits. There's a world of discovery just beneath the surface, ready to be explored. Welcome to the world of mega tsunamis, where the unimaginable becomes possible, and the quest for understanding never ends. Let's get our vocabulary straight. Today, we're diving into the world of truly massive waves, ones that can reshape coastlines and rewrite history in a matter of minutes. You've heard of tsunamis, those so-called harbor waves usually triggered by undersea earthquakes that can travel across entire oceans. In the deep ocean, a tsunami might be just a meter high, barely noticeable to ships. But as it nears shore, it transforms, rising up into a destructive wall of water that can devastate everything in its path. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami reached about 30 meters in some places, an almost unimaginable height. Now, imagine something even bigger. A mega tsunami is a different beast entirely, waves over 100 meters high, towering above the Statue of Liberty and dwarfing even the tallest buildings. It's not just a big wave, it's a force of nature that can wash over entire islands, flatten forests, and travel miles inland, scouring the landscape clean. The key difference between a tsunami and a mega tsunami is how they're born. Regular tsunamis come from tectonic shifts deep beneath the ocean floor. Mega tsunamis, on the other hand, are caused by massive sudden displacements, like a giant boulder or landslide plunging into water or even an asteroid impact. The splash is immediate and enormous, with energy concentrated right at the source, creating a wave of incredible power. This means there's far less warning time, sometimes just minutes. Earthquake-generated tsunamis can be tracked as they cross the ocean, giving people hours to evacuate and prepare. But mega tsunamis, triggered by landslides or asteroid impacts, can strike with almost no warning at all, leaving little time to react. The wave is generated instantly and can hit nearby coastlines within minutes, giving people barely any chance to escape. It's this combination of colossal size, raw power and terrifying speed that makes the mega tsunami the ultimate coastal threat, one of nature's most dramatic forces. 
understanding the difference between a tsunami and a mega tsunami is crucial for survival, especially in vulnerable coastal areas. The stakes couldn't be higher when it comes to these rare but devastating events. So, let's see what it takes to make a monster wave and why understanding mega tsunamis could one day save lives. What does it take to create a 100 meter wave? You need to displace a staggering amount of water in an instant. The main culprit massive landslides either on land or underwater. Imagine a volcanic island. Over time eruptions build it up, but instability grows. If a huge chunk collapses into the sea, billions of tons of rock act like a giant paddle creating a wave hundreds of meters high. Another trigger mega earthquakes on subduction zones, where one tectonic plate dives under another. If a huge section ruptures, the resulting uplift could generate a wave pushing into mega tsunami territory. And then there's the ultimate wildcard and asteroid or comet impact. A large space rock striking the ocean would release energy like a nuclear explosion, vaporizing water and blasting open a crater. The collapsing crater would send a mega tsunami racing across oceans. These are the forces that make monster waves possible. The most likely culprit for a future mega tsunami? A massive landslide, an event so powerful it can reshape coastlines in moments. Volcanic islands like La Palma and the Canary Islands have unstable flanks. Blocks of rock hundreds of billions of cubic meters in size perch precariously above the ocean. If one of these enormous masses collapses into the Atlantic, the energy released would be almost unimaginable, sending shock waves through the water. Models predict a localized wave hundreds of meters high, devastating nearby islands instantly and sending a wave, still tens of meters high, racing across the Atlantic. The east coast of the US, the Caribbean and Europe could all be in its path, with cities and communities facing catastrophic flooding. Similar instabilities exist in Hawaii and other volcanic islands around the world, making this a global concern. Geological evidence shows this process has happened many times before, massive debris fields on the ocean floor prove it, telling a silent story of past disasters. The scary part? Landslides can be triggered by small events, an earthquake, heavy rain, or even a minor volcanic eruption can set off a chain reaction. The collapse would be sudden, the wave generated almost instantly, leaving little time to react or escape its path. It's a silent waiting giant, seemingly peaceful, but hiding unimaginable power beneath the surface. Monitoring these unstable slopes is crucial, as early warning systems could save countless lives. The threat is real, and the clock is always ticking. We must stay vigilant, prepared for the day the silent mountain finally moves. Now, the trigger from beyond an asteroid impact. While rare, Earth has been hit before, just ask the dinosaurs. The Chicxulub impactor created a mega tsunami over a mile high, but even a much smaller asteroid, 3 to 500 meters wide, could unleash a catastrophic wave if it hit the ocean. The energy would dwarf all nuclear weapons combined, sending waves across entire ocean basins. The good news? We're watching the skies. NASA and others track near-Earth objects and we're confident the big ones aren't an immediate threat. Smaller objects are harder to spot but our detection is improving every year. If we spot a threat early, we might have years to prepare, or even deflect it. It's the ultimate test of our technological prowess. To predict the future, we look to the past and the rocks tell the story. In 1958, Latuya Bay, Alaska, saw a landslide-triggered wave that scoured trees up to 524 meters high. The tallest wave ever recorded. Luckily it was remote but it proved such waves are possible. In Hawaii, scientists have found debris fields and marine deposits hundreds of meters above sea level. Evidence of ancient mega tsunamis. These events show the physics is real, the planet has created 100-meter waves before and it will again, by studying these geological ghosts, scientists build better models to understand today's risks. They identify unstable areas, estimate landslide sizes, and simulate wave behavior. This detective work is the foundation of modern prediction and preparation. The past is our warning, the evidence is clear. Mega tsunamis are not just possible, they're inevitable. Our job is to be ready, science is our guide. Imagine a 100-meter wave striking a city like New York or Miami. This isn't a flood, it's a moving wall of water, debris, and destruction. The force would obliterate coastal defenses and smash through buildings, tearing skyscrapers from their foundations. 
the wave would surge miles inland, carrying cars, ships and fragments of the city. Subways would flood, power grids would fail, and neighborhoods would vanish under a turbulent sea. The backwash would drag everything out to sea, compounding the devastation. Survival in the direct path would be nearly impossible. With only minutes of warning, evacuation would be a race against time. The aftermath, total devastation, infrastructure gone, a humanitarian crisis. This scenario shows why monitoring and preparation are critical. It's not about fear, it's about taking the threat seriously. The stakes are life and death. We must be ready. Faced with such a threat, we don't give up, we fight back with science. Around the world scientists monitor volcanoes, fault lines and unstable slopes using high-tech tools. Satellite interferometry and GPS track ground movement, seismometers listen for tremors. For mega-earthquakes, global seismic networks and dart buoys provide early warnings. For asteroids, astronomers scan the skies, cataloging and tracking potential threats. This global collaboration is our shield. Every new sensor, every improved model is a step toward safety. Science is our first line of defense. Vigilance is key. We're not powerless, we're prepared. The future depends on it. The idea of a 100-meter wave is humbling. A reminder of our planet's awesome power. But nature isn't malicious. It's just powerful. Respect, not fear, is the answer. By studying mega tsunamis, we're solving one of science's greatest mysteries. Every sensor, every model, every plan is a victory for human ingenuity. Preparation is key. Just as we practice fire drills, we must plan for rare but devastating events. The story of the mega tsunami is about our relationship with Earth, facing extreme challenges with curiosity and resolve. The Earth will always be powerful, sometimes terrifying. But with science, collaboration and preparation, we can face the future with confidence. We're ready for the test. And that's the true power of human spirit.